Hi, this is Eric Kaiser. Uh, I work with, for Cisco Ironport, as you're all aware from hopefully the first video, if you haven't watched it, um, in regards to configuring WCCP. In this video, I'm just going to show you a couple of checks you can make um, to determine if WCCP is working correctly between the WSA and the ASA. Currently, my ASA is not configured for using WCCP, so I'm just going to give you a rundown of what you might see if it's not working. So the first thing I would do um, is I would want to know whether WCCP is communicating or not. That would be the first um, troubleshooting step I would make. We can do that by enabling um, the logging level of WCCP, um, then kicking the proxy and from there we can then tail the proxy logs. In order to uh, set WCCP logging to the correct level, we would start by typing advanced proxy config, and if you hit the tab key after you've typed advanced P, it'll finish it for you. And we have submenus to choose which actions we want to take. Um, from here, I'm obviously going to select WCCP, because I want to modify the logging level of WCCP. I want to see um, in the proxy logs whether WCCP's view is valid or whether it's not negotiating. So one thing that has changed on the S170s, um, they no longer list the numerical values for the logging options. Um, based on my experience, it is number four, which should give us the uh, output that we need to see in the actual proxy logs when we tail them. So we've entered number four. It took it and it bounced back to the previous menu. Um, we just hit enter again. We're back at the command prompt. We need to save our changes. In order to do so, we type commit, enter. It wants some changes. Um, if you have to report every little thing you do, then you might as well um, type something like enable WCCP logging. And there we go. Now the next step we have to do is we actually have to restart the proxy. Um, basically without having to actually reboot the entire device. One way we do this is using a command called diagnostic and enter and I want to kick the proxy so I'm going to pick proxy and then enter. Now keep in mind that when you do kick the proxy you will break all HTTP and HTTPS traffic so if this is a production box you're working on and you currently have user traffic going through it um, and you're just kind of playing around with uh, some of the information I'm giving you, don't do this during production time. If this is your first configuration of WCCP, then I'm going to assume that none of the browsers are using a pack file currently to go direct or that you haven't uh, set up some sort of uh, uh, group policy object that's configured the browsers to go direct to the proxy. Um, this is all assuming there is no traffic going through the WSA at this point in time. So here we have several commands, um, four of them to be exact, and none of these are what we want. In fact, the command we're looking for is actually a hidden command called kick. It's going to ask us if we want to proceed. I definitely do. Done. I restarted the proxy. It's that simple. I'll hit enter again to get back to the command line and back at the command line. The last thing I need to do is I need to actually view uh, the logs. How do I do that? We do that with the tail command. Type T-A-I-L, enter. You'll see a long list of options here. And th number 13 is the proxy logs on this particular device. On older devices, uh, it may be 17 or even 18. You just want to verify which number the proxy logs, logs uh, belong to because that's the number you're going to enter here down 
enter in the number of the log you wish to tail, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to enter 13. And here we go. Um, from this output, what we're looking for is any sort of uh, WCCP configuration. And um, I really don't have this WSA totally set up. In fact, uh, the WSA is just sitting on a desk on top of a ASA with a switch. So we'll just wait for some output here. Here we go. Here's some interesting traffic. All right. So if we take a look here, we see a lot of WCCP info. Um, the interesting thing is we do not have um, a neighborship established. In fact, I can, t and you're probably wondering how I know that. Well, here's our WCCP state, fixed, dead, forward with question marks. Um, basically, we have no WCCP established. So, if you follow these steps and you find yourself in this particular situation, one of the things you're going to want to check is um, just some simple networking tips. Can the WSA from the command line, can it ping the device successfully that is going to be providing the redirection? In other words, my ASA, can I ping the ASA? Um, next thing I would do is, uh, if I can't, I would do a trace route to that particular device to see which la last hop fails, then go to that device and determine if it's an interface issue, a route issue, um, maybe it's something, uh, a cable, um, who knows, could be uh, multiple things. That in itself tells you WCCP has failed. Um, another simple test that you can easily do, um, I'm going to control C out of this, says now that you've seen uh, some of the information on what determines whether WCCP uh, is a, uh, alive and active, um, now you're seeing it dead. In another video you will see it alive. Um, you'll see grep output alive as well. So um, what we do with grep tr um, in the WSA community is we use it for troubleshooting all URL issues. Um, if someone says, hey, the WSA is not passing traffic, blah, 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 this URL doesn't work, uh, it's blocking, all I can say is grep, grep, and grep some more. Um, we started off by typing grep, and what we're looking to grep for are the access logs, because that defines whether something is permitted access or denied access. So I will type number one for access logs, and you can enter a lot of different information in here to capture what you're looking for. Um, in terms of determining whether a PC's HTTP or HTTPS requests are making it to the WSA, I would use an IP of, let's say, um, I'll just make one up here, and we pretend this is my PC. Um, it is not, and this is just using a random IP address. Once we have that IP entered, um, it's going to ask us several questions. Case sensitive, default answer, you want to tail the logs? Most definitely. Um, we always want to see current output coming from that source, in other words, that IP address. Um, do I want to paginate it? Nope. All right. So now if I were to go to google.com right now, I'm on S170, I open up Google, it fails. Um, I'm looking at this nothing changes. I'd never see a GET request come. Um, so that leads me to believe that, okay, I have a problem. Um, and obviously I do, because we saw that WCCP is not uh, working. In other words, uh, the WSA has not formed a neighborship with the ASA. Um, I will have in my next video um, configure configuring the ASA, um, configuring the access control lists or access control list, um, uh, enabling WCCP, and um, then basically uh, once the neighborship's formed, how to view it, whether it's successful or not, 
in the ASA how to determine whether you're redirecting packets based on the ACL hit counting hit counter going up as well as the command show WCCP which will also show how many packets you're redirecting or not redirecting. Um, it'll also show you which ACL you're looking at um, within WCCP which then looks to the web redirect list to tell it which ACL to process uh, packets for possible redirection based on uh, your permit statements. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them on the YouTube channel. And uh, as I said in my previous video, don't usually check it. Maybe I'll get in the habit of uh, doing it more so if I see hits and people asking questions. Um, otherwise, uh, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.